With Christmas and the holiday period almost upon us, I thought now was a great time for this video. During the course of the year, the Simhanger channel has looked at a wide range of different hardware and peripherals accessories for flight simulation and Microsoft Flight Simulator in particular. Well, in this video, we're going to have a look at my top three, my favorite three hardware peripherals, VR excluded. That'll be in an upcoming video. Welcome to the Simhanger. My name's Mark. Thanks very much for watching. And let's get started with my number three choice. The fact that I've chosen something from Honeycomb Aeronautical may not surprise you, but what I've chosen might. It was something I reviewed earlier in the year, and it's their rubberized GA trim wheel cover for the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. Costs about 20 US dollars in the States and just under 17 euros from the European distributors Aerosoft. The trim wheel being just one of a number of accessories available for the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. The trim wheel cover is not made out of plastic. It's made out of a rubber or silicon type material, making it very flexible, but won't be prone to stretching. It's a good snug fit on the trim wheel itself. It doesn't interfere with the gear lever and ever so slightly increases the tension on the trim wheel, which is a good thing. The color matches the unit perfectly. And whilst the standard Boeing style trim wheel is fine, this cover is more representative of what we'd find in GA aircraft. And the slight tension on the GA trim wheel means you're less prone to spin it. And because you tend to move it in small increments, it becomes more responsive. For me, this has become an essential addition to my Bravo Throttle Quadrant and comes highly recommended. If you want to know more, check out my review video link in the description notes below the video. Let's move on now to my number two choice. And this one, well, it's exceeded my expectations by some margin. It's from Turtle Beach, a company making some waves in the flight sim peripheral market at the moment, and it's their Velocity One flight stick. Priced at just under £120 or 130 US dollars, this places the unit squarely in the mid price point. But the quality of the unit and the number of features packed into this joystick means it competes with those joysticks costing considerably more. The main joystick axis is Hall Effect sensors, wrist rest to make it adjustable for left and right handed people, two separate throttle axis, and being both PC and Xbox compatible certainly widens the appeal. And when you first take this product out the box, the first thing that will strike you is the quality of construction. This is one that's made to last. It features its own display and there you can adjust all the different types of sensitivities, rudder actions, colors, and a whole lot more. Moving the joystick itself through the various axes, there's a good tension to it, something that I personally really like. So make sure you configure those trims when flying. Not sure if this is for you? No problem. Then check out the full review, where we look at all aspects of this joystick features and connection options. Link to my review video in the notes below. And now on to my number one choice for 2022. And as an avid VR enthusiast, it's somewhat ironic that this one you can regard as a VR alternative and a viable one at that. My number one choice is from Toby and it's head tracking. It's the Toby Eye Tracker 5. But don't let the name fool you, it's full head tracking software and hardware and a viable replacement for Track IR. And I was an avid Track IR user for many, many years. But Toby is my choice and features the full six degrees of freedom. In simple terms, Toby has a sensor which fits to the base of your monitor and it tracks your head movement. So unlike Track IR, you don't have to wear any sensors. 
Using the quick views in SIM and using your mouse to look around it breaks the immersion. Toby Eye Tracker 5 lets you simply move your head and your view on screen changes and you can vary the degree of responsiveness. So whilst you only turn your head maybe 40 degrees, your in-sim camera view can be calibrated to look 90 degrees and so on. So you can look around your cockpit but still keep your eyes on the monitor. If you haven't tried head tracking, well you should. It takes the immersion of your simulator to a whole new level. And I'm not exaggerating, it just feels more natural. And the Toby Eye Tracker, well the setup is simplicity itself. It works in varying light conditions and will work with any size monitor, including curved monitors. Toby Eye Tracker comes with a single bar, USB connection that is mounted to the base of your monitor, mount supplied. You download some software, Toby Experience, and you're away. And calibration is a doddle. There's inbuilt support in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and it's also compatible with Aerofly FS2 and DCS. I stand to be corrected, but I don't believe it's X-Plane compatible. The Toby system also features eye tracking. This is, it changes your view as you just move your eyes. Here I'm demoing it by looking from one instrument to the other. The eye bubbles just for demo purposes. Just taking a quick glance with your eyes is something you do all the time in the real world without even realizing it. And the eye tracking feature can be enabled or disabled depending on your preference. Whenever I'm not in VR and I'm flying for myself, well, I use the Toby Eye Tracker. The Toby is available directly from Toby Gaming, link in the notes below, and the standard list price is £259. Due to exchange rate, Euro and US dollar price will be slightly higher. If you're looking for a discount, then click on the affiliated link below and enter coupon SIMHANGER exactly as shown on screen. And this will entitle you to an exclusive 5% discount. If you'd like to know more about Toby and see it in action, then check out my review video, link in the notes below. And in the video, I'm using Toby Eye Tracker and the Reno Air Races. In addition, I've done a further video to help you with your configuration options, which are all available by default in SIM. Three cracking products that in my book and in my personal opinion, are real value for money and have enhanced my flight sim experience. Also deserving an honorable mention is the Loop Deck Live. Basically a stream deck on steroids with rotary dials, downloadable Microsoft Flight Simulator config, and once again I'll leave a link to my review in the notes below. I hope you found this useful and informative. Stay well, look after yourselves, I'll see you all again very soon, and bye for now.